Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Becca. Today I am doing my 20 books in 2020 update. First though, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the bell icon. That way anytime I upload a video, you'll be notified. And if you know anyone who would like to watch my videos, go ahead and hit that share button and send them my way. So um, there were 20 books that I had uh, previously stated. I'll go ahead and put the link uh, uh, above if I can figure out how to do that. Um, that way, you know, if, if you wanted to go back to that video, you can watch it again. Um, so the first three books that I had on there was, uh, Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare, The Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare, and The Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. Uh, this is a trilogy and, um, I actually read all three of these books, loved them, gave all three books five stars. Um, this in fact is probably one of my top favorite, uh, series of all time. Um, I can read this over and over many, many times and still be in love with the story. It will never get old to me. Um, and so, yeah, I was very, very happy that I reread them again and loved them as much as I loved them the first time. The second one is also a trilogy, but um, because I have them in a compact book, I kind of counted it as one book, but I guess I can count it as three books. It is Trill, and this is by Amanda Hawking. Um, the three books that are in this is Switch, Torn, and Ascend. Um, I gave all three of these books five stars, I believe. If I can remember, it was a long time ago. Um, this was also a reread. Loved it still, but... Um, this series actually got me hooked on reading Amanda Hawking's works. Really, really enjoyed this one so much. And um, yeah, it, it, it's a, a comfort read for me, I think. Um, like any time that I just want something that I can pick up and just, you know, read, uh, this would be something that would fill that position. So the next one that I had on my list was Renegades and this is by Marissa Mayer. This is a sci-fi book. I actually never did get to read this one. Um, I thought about picking it up a couple of different times but I just never was in the mood to pick it up and read it and because I'm a mood reader I didn't want to kind of like force myself into something that I wasn't really in the mindset for. Um, but I do plan on picking this one up hopefully in the near future. We'll see how it goes. Maybe soon. We'll see. And the next one that I had was And I Darken in this by Kirsten White. This is another one that I didn't get a chance to pick up. Um, I am really still looking forward to reading this one. Um, and uh, we'll just have to see how it goes uh, for 2021 then because uh, it was kind of busy in 2020. And so, yeah, we'll, we'll just have to see how it goes. Next one. Uh, same as the last two I didn't get a chance to pick up um, that I really really wanted to but uh, it is sky and this this is by Neil Schusterman um, I was looking forward to reading this one it's one that is super hyped on the booktube um, so I still do look forward to reading this uh, trilogy I do have all three books so um, when I am in the mindset to read this one um, I'll I'll be prepared to binge read. <laughs> the next book I'm super excited about is The Night Circus and this is by Erin Morgenstern. This one um, I kind of had off to a slow start when I first started reading it, had to put it down, picked it back up and fell in love with it. This is in one of my top books to read. Um, I absolutely love this. I'm so glad I, I, I really sat down and put all my attention toward this book when I did because it was a fantastic read. I absolutely loved it. The next book is Strange the Dreamer and this is by Lainey Taylor. Absolutely love this book. Um, there, This is a duology. I haven't picked up the second book yet. I do plan on reading that very, very soon. Um, this was one of my top books as well this year fantastic. I absolutely fell in love with the characters in this book, especially Laszlo Strange. He just had me at the first chapter and um, I, I just fell in love with his personality and how amazing he is as a, a person and how his heart is just so big. You can't just 
like he just uh like his whole person is just amazing i loved everything about this book the next one was one of those that I was bummed that I didn't get to pick up this year. I did try and pick it up a couple different times, but I just wasn't, I, I, there were so many things going on in my life that I just, I really wanted to give it more of my time and, and my energy. So this is one that I do plan on picking up in the future. Uh, and, and in fact, you know, I really, really, want to love this book as much as everybody has talked about but it is a darker shade of magic and this is by V.E. Schwab uh, or Victoria Schwab this is one that I have heard so many people say that they love this trilogy and they have so many good memories about reading this trilogy and so I eventually definitely want to still pick this one up in the future um it's just you know Hopefully when things aren't going so chaotic that I can actually truly put all of my energy and my focus into this story. The next one is The Beautiful by Renee Audier. I actually just read this one this last month um, and I really, really enjoyed it. I, 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 It was a lot different than what I was expecting, but it was still so, so, so good. Um, and I'm glad that I picked it up and uh, yeah, it's... Uh, I'm I'm really liking Renee's work and I plan to pick up some of her other books in the future because of how well I enjoyed this book. Um, this one is A Great and Terrible Beauty and this is by Libba Bray. This is one that I was really looking forward to picking up. I just forgot that it was on my list actually and it just kind of fell back to the wayside because of all of the great and wonderful books that had come out this year. So um, I do still plan on reading this one sometime. I just don't know when I'm gonna be able to get to it. The next one is another one that I was really hoping to get to, but I didn't. And it is Ninth House by uh, Lee Bardugo. Um, this one kind of has fallen off of my to be read list. Um, I, do, I do still plan on reading it. I'm gonna keep it on my bookshelf, but uh, there's so many other books that I am wanting to read that it's kind of bumped its way down my list of to be reads. So hopefully, you know, I can actually get through my list and um, put this one back closer to the top. Uh, but yeah, I kind of fell out of favor with wanting to read it. I mean, I still really want to read it. It still sounds a very interesting read, but it's one of those things where it's like, I've got all these other ones that I want to read more. So it just kind of got stuck on the back of the bookshelf, I guess is the best way to put it. So, um, like I said, I still do plan on reading it, uh, just later at some point. Okay. The next one is the diviners and this is by Loba Bray. This was another one that I didn't get a chance to read. Um, I think the size of it kind of threw me off every time I thought about picking it up. I was just like, Oh, well, it's just such a big book. I don't know if I have time to sit down and read it. Um, and so I just kept putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. And here we are at the end of the year and I haven't finished or I haven't even picked it up yet. So, um, it does, it does still sound very intriguing. I still hear a lot of people talking about this series. So I'm, I do hope that in the future I'll want to pick it back up again. But as for right now, it's one of those that I'm just going to shelve for the time being and we'll see where it goes from there. The next book is Sorcery of Thorns is, and this is by Margaret Rogerson. This was the first book by Margaret that I read and I absolutely love this book. This was a, an incredible book. Um, I, and felt, I, I truly fell in love with the characters in this book and I love the, the romance that was in it. Um, I felt like the magical system in there was super fun and enjoyable. And so um, I just, I, I'm glad that I had this one on my list and that I got to read it. Um, I really, really did uh, enjoy it and it got me hooked on a new author. So I have read um, Margaret's other book or books. I can't remember how many she has out right now, but um, I love the way that she writes. And so she's going to be an author that I do reach uh, anytime she comes out with a new book. Uh, she's going to be one that I, I'll pick up without knowing whatever the book is because I've enjoyed what I've read of her so far. And unfortunately, I did not read Fangirl and this is by Rainbow Rowell. This is still one that I want to pick up. It is um, a contemporary read. 
I do not pick up contemporaries that often, so I think that's why I didn't really get to this book. Um, but it still has a really, really cute um, synopsis, and so this is one that I'm gonna keep on my shelves for further reading. The next one, speaking of contemporaries, was Geekerella, and this is by Ashley Poston. I loved this book. I gave this book five out of five. I thought it was just the cutest read ever, and I thoroughly enjoyed the characters in this and the romance that was in it. Um, I, it, it was it was just one of those feel good reads that I enjoyed reading, and um, I look forward to reading more of Ashley's uh, books in the future. She has quite a few out, and so um, this is another new author that I read for the first time this year that um, I I really enjoyed, and so it's it's kind of sparked my interest for picking up uh, her books in the future. The one that really surprises me the most that I didn't read this year was um, Heat Wave by Richard Castle. I was so excited when I first picked these up that um, I thought that I would just binge read this book and a bunch of his other books, um, and I never did get into it. Uh, it is more of um, a mystery, like here in the now, contemporary mystery read, I guess you could say. And the couple of times that I did try and pick it up, I just couldn't get into it. Um, I'm not sure if this is something that I'm going to pick up in the future. Um, I'll probably leave it on my bookshelf for a little while, kind of look back to it. If it's something in the future that I decide to pick up and read, then great. I'll be excited about it. But um, if I end up not reading it, then it'll probably go in my uh, to get rid of or book unhaul type thing. Um, but as far as right now, I'm, I'm just not sure. I'm kind of 50-50 on this one right now, whether I'm going to be picking this one up again in the future because I did try and read it a couple of different times. I just wasn't in the mood for it. It, it just didn't grab me like the books that I really enjoy reading. So this is kind of a, we'll see how it goes. And uh, I'll let you know. And this one is City of Brass and this is by S.A. Chakraborty. I absolutely love this book gave this one five out of five stars. It was, it, it did start off a little bit slow, but once you get past that, it was phenomenal. The characters were fantastic. I absolutely, absolutely love Dara, like my favorite character in this book. Um, and so, I don't know, like it just, it's one of these books that I'm, it, it does have a trilogy. This is the only book that I've read in the trilogy so far. And um, I like this book so much. I might actually reread this one before I go and finish the series or finish the trilogy just because I had such a fun time reading this first book. Um, but yeah, like I, I'm definitely looking forward to reading this one again and continuing on with the, the trilogy. Last but not least, we have Never Night and this is by Jay Kristoff. I did give this book five out of five stars. However, I did not like this book. <laughs> Um, it just was not the type of books that I enjoy reading as far as um, it just being really gross and, and crass and the character in it. I just couldn't really connect with her. However, Jay Kristoff has an amazing, um, an amazing way of writing where you literally are there in the moment. So I will potentially pick up other books that he has written in the future that have gotten a lot of hype. That was all the books that I had hoped to read in 2020. Um, so if you um, have picked any of these books up and you've read them, let me know what you what your thoughts were on them. Um, and if you think that the books that I didn't read um, that were on this list, uh, if you think that I still need to really read them uh, in the future, let me know. And um, yeah, so if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the bell icon. That way anytime I upload a video, you will be notified. And if you know anyone who would like to watch these videos, go ahead and hit that share button and send them my way. As always, stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.